Welcome to part three, stage three. And um, let's watch this together because like, I, I'm remembering the game as well as I watch this. So, um, yeah, for this part, yeah, for this part, I kind of just try to skip everybody and not deal with them. I just found it easier to, uh, to be like, fuck it and get the fuck out. Now, if somebody's in my way, you know, then sometimes it's better to kill them than take the damage, obviously. In this game, I believe you can bump into enemies, so keep that in mind. They only hurt you if they actually land an attack on you. So you can touch them, unlike a lot of games. I mean, you'll probably learn that, but if you don't pick up on that, it's worth knowing because then you can exploit that at various points. You know, if you, it's good to know that. For these guys, you know, you just get within, you just stand like in their chain and duck and, and shoot them or, or hack at them with your sword. The chain doesn't hurt you, it's the ball. Or their, their arm may, maybe their arm would hurt you too, but the, you know, but as long as you're within that chain, you'll be all right. And as I've been saying, I mean, you'll see if you saw the other videos, you know, I practiced pretty much each section with save states to learn them, so I recommend doing that. Because otherwise, you know, if you die, then you have to start back at the, the early parts. I mean, you'll get it eventually, but it's just faster to, to, to uh, practice like that. Yeah, so take your time here. Don't get hit by those beams, obviously. You know, wait for them to go away. Use your shurikens to take out those guys from a distance, you know. When I, you can really exploit that a lot and take out guys from far away, see. You don't have to get up close to a lot of the guys and fight them, so. Whenever I can clean up the guys from a distance, I don't, I don't bother trying to get up close and fight them. I try to get rid of them. Just, you know, playing carefully. When you see the little flame uh, emerge for, you know, a second or so, you'll know that the flame is about to come out. So that's when you want to be prepared to dodge it, either jump it or duck it, depending on your positioning. You know, pretty standard. Yeah, you can pretty much just, you don't have to spend a lot of time on those platforms. You can just go straight down. There's no no point of those platforms but just to slow you down and get in your way. You can go, you know, just go straight down. You don't have to ride them. It'll be harder if you ride them and try to dodge shit, you know. Yeah, for this part, you can just kind of just get up there and start hacking away at those, at that blue uh, exposed little blue ball, whatever the hell it is. And, uh, you know, just be aware of the other shots. Try not to take too much damage. It's pretty, yeah, pretty simple. Once one of them is gone, it, it gets easier. I mean, I was even, I was playing this pretty sloppy, but it was good enough. So that's really all that, that mattered to me. I definitely recommend this game if you're looking for a uh, you know a great Super Nintendo action game to play that you're not familiar with. A lot of people don't know about this game. It was uh, not widely released. I think maybe in Japan it was released, but in America, I think it was only a Blockbuster Video exclusive at a rental shop. At Blockbuster Video, and uh, I think it was a game that you could only rent for the most part. I don't know if they if it was even sold, but uh, I didn't find out about it till way later. I tried it years ago on emulation, and, you know, even the first level, I remember it was, it was tough for me at the time, but my mind wasn't, I wasn't really, you know, in a mood for a hard game. You gotta have, you get, your mind has to be in the right state of mind. And back then, I wasn't doing the practice with save and load states and all that. I was just pretty much just playing games straight through, and, you know. Once I did that, it really opened up games for me, and, of course, I became a much, you know, better player since that point. That was a while ago. But yeah, not much to say. It's more about your positioning in that last section. You know, you just got to be positioned right, which you'll just learn by practicing the level. So there really wasn't much to say there. Here I try to, you know, whenever I have a chance, I try to kill everything immediately with my sword. For some reason, I liked using the sword here as opposed to just throwing the shurikens at everything. But 
Maybe I was saving ammo. I don't remember exactly. Because there is a boss. Uh, it's possible I was saving ammo for the boss, but I don't remember. Miss, I missed the one up there, which would have been useful, obviously, but it, it didn't really matter because you have unlimited continues, and I was just trying to beat each level anyway, and then I would and then I would commit suicide usually and get all my lives, you know, my lives back for the next section. So I wasn't too concerned about that, you know. The one ups were very important on, on the harder levels where I, you know I could actually die a lot because remember deaths are edited out of this playthrough, so you'll see the death number sometimes changes because it's the deaths are edited out. Okay, so let's see for this for this boss. Let's see. Okay, I was probably saving the shurikens for this guy, you know, because he might take. He probably takes a lot of them. Yeah, I think that's why I was using a sword. But yeah, pretty much just shoot the shit out of him with the shurikens. Dodge, you know, there wasn't much to explain there. And that ends part three. So stay tuned. Next up is going to be stage four.